Hello all, this is Wasn Developer back with another video and also welcome to my first 1080p HD video. Days back then I had a 1366768 monitor and when uploading videos from that, YouTube would automatically resize them to 720p HD. So I just got my mom's TV which is 1080p HD and now I'm sure YouTube will not scale down to 720p HD again. So in this video we will see how you can create a self-extracting archive using WinRap. So let's get started. An SFX archive is an archive, basically a RAR or a zip file which doesn't need any archive manager to extract it. What I mean to say is it can extract on itself. It is very easy to create one. To make this work, we need either 7-zip or WinRAR. 7-zip is a free and open source archive manager and WinRAR is not free, but for us, a trial version works. So I'm leaving a download link to WinRAR in the description of the video. I will also give a link to the 7-zip's website in the description. Make sure you check out. Also check out my video called how to create GitHub Pages website as we will be compressing that video now. To get started, simply select the files you want to compress, right click on one of them and select add to archive. Now a window should pop up. In this window, enter the name you want the final file to be. Now in my case, it is converted. And then check on create SFX archive. By default, it will be not checked. After that is done, change the directory size to 128 megabytes. Now go ahead to the advanced tab. Here you will find a button called SFX options. Click on that. And you should be at this dialog. Here you can change a few things about SFX archive. First of all, in this text box here, just type the path you want to extract your video files. In my case, they are videos folder. So I will type videos and select current folder. Once done, simply head over to the next tab and that is set up. Here you will see two big text boxes. One is for commands that run after extraction and the bottom one is for commands that run before extraction. Now after done with them, simply click on the next tab. Here at the silent mode section, just select your mode of visibility. In my case, it is normal mode, so I leave it as it is. Now in the advanced tab, first you will find a text box. Here you will enter the names of the files you want to be deleted after the extraction is completed. At the bottom, add any shortcuts if you want to. Now don't touch anything in the update and module tab without knowing what you're doing because you can damage your archive. Go to the text and icon tab. First, enter the title of the SFX window. Here you can enter the text to display on the welcome screen. You also have an option to load the text from a text file. Now at the bottom of the dialog, you can insert a bitmap image as the title image and an icon as an icon. After completing all of these steps, simply click on OK button. Now click on OK again to create an SFX archive or self-extraction archive. After the compression process is completed, you now have successfully created and self-extraction archive file. To extract the files in it, simply open it. Click on the extract button and that should work. So that's all for this video and please like the video and if it deserves and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you and have a nice day.